All right, we got our first look at divine skills and how these are going to affect the game of Vanguard. If you guys smash living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. So we start off here with our starter, Butz Chief Mechanic Warton. One right upon, if you want second, draw a card. Pretty easy stuff here. Our right line here, when this unit is run upon by a Blitz Head Researcher, Uber, Soul Boss 1, search your deck for up to one part of card with a grade less than or equal to your opponent's Vanguard, reveal it and put it in your hand and shuffle your deck. This is good, we needed this. Now, so this is the Blitz Head Researcher, Uber. So when this unit attacks Vanguard, we can Energy Blast 3, choose a part of card from our order zone and we can operate it, okay? When this unit is wrote upon by a unit with Wellstrom in its card name, with the Divine skill, if your order zone has a product, cost Soul Blast 1, discard a card from your hand, search your deck for up to two product cards with different names from each other, and from your order zone, reveal it and put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. You may only search for only one, two. All right, so, uh, you know, this is actually pretty good. So this is how they're changing the ride line and stuff. But the multi-attack on turn four with this is very real for the Energy Blast. Now we have the Fated One of Guiding Star, Wellstra Blitz Arm. So, first skill here. When this unit attacks, we can Energy Blast 2, choose a product from our order zone, operate it, and this unit gets 10,000 power till the end of that battle. Not too bad. Our Divine Skill, Act Vanguard Circle, we can counter Blast 1, choose up to two product cards with different card names from our hand, and put them into the order zone. If you put two cards, choose a product card from your order zone and operate it. You may only use a Divine Skill a total of once per turn, and only uh, one per fight. So yeah, that's it. Um, so in a world where we do get multiples of these, so it's, it's just V-Star power for Pokemon. Extreme Satellite Weaponry. So, when this card is put into the order zone, if you have a grade 3 or grade of Vanguard with Wellstra in the card name, draw a card and energy charge 3. And then when we operate this in the order zone, when this card is operated during the battle phase by the ability of a Vanguard with Wellstra in its card name that was not put into your order zone this turn, choose one of your opponent's free guards, retire it. Choose one of your opponent's Vanguards, it gets to minus 10k power and... If your opponent's damage zone is four or less, ping them for one. This card's really good, but you can't really do this till turn four. And then we got, ooh, what is this? Uh, so during the battle, it's unit boosted. If you have a grade three or grade of Vanguard with Wallstrand, its card name, this gets 5k power. And when this unit boosted a grade three or greater Vanguard of Wallstrand, its card name, energy charge one. Okay, it's not bad. Then we have our cycler here. So when this card is put on the guardian circle from hand or discarded from your hand by writing from the ride deck, we can counter boss one or energy blast three, draw a card. And when this unit is placed on Rearguard Circle, if you're Persona Road this turn, counter boss one or energy blast three, search your deck for up to one grade three or greater unit card with a different card name from your Vanguard or up to one set order. Reveal and put your hand in, shuffle your deck. If you reveal the card, just discard from your hand and discard it. This is uh, this card's actually pretty good. And we have our first look at the new parallel silver rares. Um, I don't know if I'm going to like the big blob of silver on these, but I'll take it. This is actually pretty cool. So what do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here in a day, guys. Peace out. Thanks for watching today's video. Check out TradingCardMint.com down below in the description. Enter mcol 40 on checkout. Save a little bit of money on your purchase. Check out mcolgames.com if you're interested in getting some cool play mats and single trading cards as well. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss one of our videos. Thanks for watching.